G'day viewers, how's it going? G'day viewers, how you going? You know what, I think it's time we talked about Ben Carson. That man, the legend, the guy. See, he ben. is one of the front runners uh, for the Republican nomination for the presidency. Uh, mm. Election next year. Not for long. Historically, anyone who's a front runner at this stage goes anyway. Yeah. Uh, but I think there's a couple reasons he's not going to stay on. Uh, one is he appears to be a pathological liar. There's that bit. Yeah, yes. and, and he's gone on the attack when some media have gone, hey, this stuff from your life story, not true, is it? And he goes, no, you're the liars! And apparently, um, I am rubber, you are glue, is his chosen tactic at the moment, which I think has a limited lifespan. Uh, however, he could probably get a gig in the Australian Liberal Party with yeah. words and tactics like that. No, I didn't say your mum is. Yeah. Two. That's it's, it's also a tendency we're seeing here, which is really disturbing. It's like the worst of the Republicans in the US seems to be infecting the worst of the Conservatives in Australia as Can well. you put it in an acronym? Yeah. Three, le three word slogans was Tony. That's not even a joke. Everything, he just compressed everything, however complex, to some stupid fucking slogan. And he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. So, because he couldn't quite fit tax, he's not nice. Yeah. So, anyway, we think Ben Carson's not going to get the nomination. First, because he's a liar, which wouldn't necessarily hold you back. There might be something else about him. He's that... black, folks. He's oh. black ass. There's no getting around it. There's no getting around it. He turns up, doesn't even bother to paint. Yeah. Uh, now... Uh, we're not falling for the old trope and saying all Republicans are racist. That's clearly not true. Not true. I just think there's a decent enough chunk of them who will refuse to endorse a black dude. I think that's think real. That's what's going on there. But I also think he's about to flame out with his lies thing. But what I really wanted to talk about, because that's all going to be irrelevant. The thing is... Oh, and, and just before we do, yeah. he lies pretty freaking big time. He, he has told some freaking really checkable... Oh yeah, like saying he got a, a scholarship, was offered a scholarship to the West Point Military Academy. Which, which is, is a big freaking deal in the States. But that's not how West Point works. And mm. you would have had to be going through a whole application process to even be... So it was obviously a lie. And now him and his campaign are fudging around. No, we're pretty no. sure General Westmoreland said yeah. he'd do well. Yeah. So that's the same as being offered a scholarship. So it's a lie, and now they're lying about being caught in a lie. Stories about his childhood, which appear to be lies. So basically, he tells a lot of big, obvious, checkable lies and thinks he's getting away with it. Checkable being the operative word he mm. keeps. This is something that has bothered Brother Angry and I yeah. for a long time. Also happens closer to home here in Australia. Exactly. Well. Just... The old, if I keep telling a lie, people are going to end up believing... I hope not. I hope he's just going to crash and burn because of lies. Because there's another thing about him. He's a brain surgeon. Yeah. And yeah. he's a fucking moron. Yeah. And what have we, as a people, traditionally used as shorthand for really, really smart... Rocket scientist. And brain surgeon. And we've now got this staring us in the face. Now, this guy's not a bad brain surgeon. He has successfully separated both of them alive, conjoined twinge attached at the brain. The most difficult operation in the world. It is the hardest thing to do. He tops your top ten lists of fucking put down your glass for that, Dr. Boys. He's done a good freaking job. It's the hardest thing to do, and he's did it. Brilliant, but... Yeah, and so other stuff, no. He's clearly capable of precision. Mm. He's clearly capable of studying and taking mm. tests. Mm -hmm. But if anything outside of that, he's like a fucking moron. You're like a, like a child who's caught his dick in a zipper. Like, I don't know whether to cry or call for help or do anything. He's just got nowhere to go because he's a fucking idiot. Yeah, he says evolution is an idea planted by the devil. Uh, he's said that the Egyptian pyramids weren't tombs just because that's inscribed on the walls of them. No, no, they were grain storage because I read that in the Bible, so therefore that's true. It's one of those people, Can't and they are the pyramid, a I minority in the whole evangelical world who insist that the Bible is more real than objectively measurable reality. I don't mind someone who looks to the Bible or any other religious tract for inspiration. Hey. I mind people who say 
this is more important than the objectively provable fact you're talking about. Or your that life. I have a problem with. Generally. Yeah, yeah, your life, when or it comes down to life. that as well. Yeah. And, you know, so if we now have, staring us in the face, absolute concrete evidence brain surgeons can be fuckwits, what are we left with? I mean, okay... I think we're still safe with rocket scientists because what do you, you? You'd have to have a physics degree, yeah. advanced mathematics, probably yeah. chemistry as well. Yeah. So you need I, a pocket protector. You probably don't want to ask him anything about the humanities. Yeah. But yeah, so I'm thinking we need a new word in the vernacular for someone who is at the upper echelon of something that seems very difficult, but outside of that one thing, title fuckwit, loser, fucking moron. Idiot. So, I, at this point, I can't think of anything better than a Carson. Carson. When you see someone, and they're very, very good at something that's very, very difficult, mm -hmm. but in every other functional area of life, mm -hmm. they're a fuckwit, mm -hmm. they're a Carson. They're a Carson. I saw a guy come into a small car park in a hotted up Gemini. This had been slightly raining, so it was kind of slick. He spun the car three times and spun it into a parking space rear first with enough room on both sides to let everyone out of the car. He's jumped out of the car and shat himself. Yeah. That's a car. That's a car. It's like somebody who could successfully uh, break the Enigma code but also thinks that crystals will heal cancer. Mm. Carson! Carson! So, you know, store that one away. Let's see if we can give this one legs, people. Yeah. When somebody uh, can be very good at one thing, but is still demonstrably a fuckwit, they're a Carson. 